pick up graphic skills with creativity. Press that red button to subscribe. Yes, yes, that red button. Press and to subscribe. Now, yeah, press that bell. That school bell. Press and press and. Okay, welcome back, guys. It's your boy, Deco Graphics. Today, I will show you a product manipulation on our Android smartphone using your PC lab. So, you are going to learn step by step how you can manipulate your products on our PC lab on your PC lab using your smartphone. So, I will drop the link, uh, link, uh, to the PLP file on that description of this video. You can just make sure that you click the link and extract and you use it to see how this is being done and you can learn the process as well but don't forget if you are new to my channel to subscribe turn on the notification bell icon so that you won't miss any of my tutorial like this so without wasting much of our time let's get started the first thing is to determine the kind of size we want to use so i want to use this size one two zero by one two zero so after that i will select the background which i want to use so i'm bringing this over so after selecting this so we're going to make things snappy so after selecting this then the next thing is to bring the product can which i'm going to position at the middle so after positioning the product can i need a shadow for this so i will assess my gallery bringing the shadow so that it will look real okay perfect so i'll bring this shadow position it at the back of this can okay then i will lock the two so it will look awesome like this so after that i can manually adjust the shadow to look professional okay perfect so after that has been done then the next thing is i will bring a rock with a rodent okay i'll bring this particular rock where the rodent is standing on top of it so this so after that i need to use a shadow a shadow then i will tap on the plus sign reducing it a little bit while i'll go to my offset y and uh, make sure that i bring it down to look more real so after that has been done i will copy this shadow as well after copy it i will bring it at the bottom of this then send it to the back of the rock and lock the whole staff so once that one has been done then the next thing i'm going to do heading back to my gallery bringing the antelope okay i will bring the antelope at the first scanner position it like this going back there bringing the second antelope position it at the left side which you can see right you can bring this one to shift in a little bit so after that has been done then i will lock the two then after that before i will do a kind of a manipulation to this so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring bed that are flying around the sky so i'll bring the bed that are flying around the sky i will bring it and position it here okay i can send that to the back then lock it as well so what am i going to do next i have to make the everything real okay so i will go in there bringing the shape i mean the background which i use so i will i will reduce the opacity very well so after reducing the opacity i will go into the mask enable the mask then click on the movement enable it again and go in there reducing it the size then clicking ok then i will tap on the grab uh, the drag icon then i will position this here after that i will crop it a little bit just cropping the lower part okay then after that has been done i will tap ok i will tap ok then the next thing i will click outer so after tapping on the outer part i will click ok so now i have it so i will go to 
the opacity increasing the opacity so what did i do there i don't want the leg to be showing you understand if i had hide the leg hide this layer so you can see automatically that i'm able to see the foot of the leg so it's making it not to be real so i will enable that particular cutout to position so that it will be like the leg of the antelope is inside the grass to make it real so after that has been done i will tap okay so i will do the same thing by going to my gallery as well bringing the background i'll position it here then go to opacity reduce the opacity a little bit then i will go to the mask so tapping on the mask i will enable it then i will go to the crop i will reduce the size of it then moving it a little bit around the leg of the antelope then i will click on this to be able to mask it okay a little bit i only need a little bit So after this has been done, okay, the next thing I'm going to do after that is to click the outer part. So after tapping on the outer part, I will click OK. Then I will go back to the opacity. You see, so I will reduce, I will increase the size a little bit. So that the leg will just be inside and will be transparent it will look like it enter the grass so after that has been done then the next thing we need to do is to bring in just lock it as well after locking it tap on the empty area and you bring this particular shadow position it around there okay the tab i'm empty layer so go into the shape i mean to the opacity reduce it a little bit so we are going to change the color to this to green then tap on the green to make it look blending okay then i will bring the same thing reducing the size and position it here do the same thing around there so after that has been done then the next thing we are going to do to make everything plumb we are going to uh, we are going to click on the sticker again position that around there and you turn it to white tap empty just tap anywhere here tap anywhere here okay very cool very cool so once that has been done then we're going to just select the bringing in the shadow position it just drag it very well and you position it to the bottom here just a little bit okay perfect 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 so we are good to go this is just a simple trick so now you can come up with product manipulation on your android smartphone so what is really a uh, matter here is for you to know how you can blend uh, uh, uh blend an object together with the background without any interruption and you can see the part of the grass is what i'm blended with uh the uh the leg of the antelope to make it look red that it actually working uh, together with this uh, rock and the rodent on top of the rock i make sure that uh, the background of the rock are really firm together with the, the background uh, uh the grass background to make it look real why the product is standing tall at the middle and i make sure the shade is there to make it place well properly at the middle thank for watching i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you don't forget you can just copy or get in the paper of this particular file on 
the description the description of this video thank you once again just make sure you save your work as ultra and as png